Hello, One Piece chapter 843 review. Let's talk about this chapter. Now, we learned two major things in this chapter. One with the ending with Nanji, which was, of course, like anything with Nanji, this arc, amazing. But before that, we learned about Big Mama's abilities. And the rest of the chapter, in my opinion, is a lot of padding. It's a lot of, like, it works. It feels organic, don't get me wrong. But it's clearly there because the chapter needed to end on that cliffhanger. There was a lot of stuff in the beginning that was, there was like two or three pages that weren't needed with Luffy and Nami kind of just talking. Like there was Nami recapping things that have happened and I'm like, I read this manga. Why are you telling me what happened in the manga? Like recently, if Nami had been talking about like Lola on Thriller Bark and was like recapping something like that, I would get it. I don't understand the need for Nami miniature recap. Like, we were going to meet up with Pudding at the coast, but then Pudding didn't show up. It's like, no duh, Nami, he didn't show up. We know this. That really bothered me. I feel like it was kind of like a waste of time. We then uh, had this thing where Pound talked about how Big Mom can manipulate the weather thanks to the Paramecium, or it was like thanks to the power of the sun and the power of Vestu. It's just like, you know, like manipulate like lightning, I believe, and the sun. It's, it's really weird. Yeah, so Big Mom can control the weather. So, uh, okay, that's all we know. I had no idea how Big Mom possesses such an ability. Her Della Fruit is a based around souls. I see no connection between a soul and the rain because there isn't one. So I'm assuming it's something else. Maybe it's some kind of hockey related ability. Maybe she's using Conquer hockey to like control the weather. I mean we do know Conquer Conquer Taki can affect the weather, as we saw when a white beard and shank when they clashed, we thought they split the sky in half and created like a storm. That was actually how the Navy, I believe that's how the Navy found out about it, because a storm just appeared. Like, it was, it was, it was, it was out, it was out of the ordinary, even for the New World, because it just, like, popped up. So that was how the Navy knew about that. Now let's talk about another amazing part of the chapter, which was the comedy. Now while some of it was padding, there was still some good comedy. And there wasn't anything that's like, there was a corpus thing with Ichiji and Niji and Yonji all freaking out when they saw Nami. Which of course, this is a big part of the chapter, which is Luffy and Nami finally catch up with Sanji. Now it is very important for you to understand. Luffy and Nami had caught up to Sanji, but Sanji is like, no. They were talking like, you know, time to come with us, we'll kick these guys asses and then we can leave. And that's exactly what Luffy said. Who's asses? He really said, whose ass do I need to kick? Then we can leave. That's the exact quote from the chapter and it's, I mean, it's stupid. It's more Luffy being stupid with... Is Luffy seems to be dumber this arc? I may go back and reread some like Fifth Man Island stuff. Maybe some Marine Force stuff, but... We know he's capable of being smarter. He was smarter during M Held Down and Marine Force. He's just not taking this seriously. He doesn't need to acknowledge the fact that there's a Yonko. Like... Like less than 20 miles from him. Ready to annihilate him. Like, easily. Also, it's hinted at that Arush is dead, but we'll talk about that later. No, but no, very, very interesting stuff with that. But though it's not, he pretty much said it. No, why would I want to go anywhere with you? And he just starts insulting him. He insults the entire crew. Mind you, by insulting the entire crew, he normally he'll, like, insult Luffy and Zoro and some of the guys. But he'll make it clear he's talking about the male members of the crew. 
In this, he literally said, why would I want to travel with a barbarian like you and you dumbasses? And I'm just like, I'm like, so he indirectly insults Nami and Robin. That was very interesting. Like that, Sanji going in with his insult, he really wants everybody to think he doesn't care. He even said, I am Sanji then smoke. And what, what would I rather have? A life on the sea with filth like you, right, and just wandering like an idiot? Or, or a life with a beautiful wife and all I could ever want? Even the world's biggest dumbass, dumbass that is you should be able to figure that out. But what's your name again? And that was when you realize Sanji is just, like, uh, keep going all out. And, and it really, we realize. He's going to fight Luffy. We're going to get Luffy versus Sanji next week. Hopefully. I swear to God, Oda, if you skip to Zoro or something, which I may do a video on that when we're going to see Zoro again. But, I just, Oda, if you skip to Zoro, I will be so mad. It's not even funny. Like, I, I love Zoro. But, Usopp versus Luffy is one of the best parts of One Piece. I love that fight. It's a well thought out fight. Usopp manages, manages to hold his own even though Luffy's a lot stronger and it's emotional. I have high expectations for Luffy versus Sanji. Very high expectations and I am very excited for this fight. Now of course there are some things that need to be addressed with Arun. It was stated that after Commander I think it was Commander Snack. Yeah, Commander Snack was defeated. Big Mom and the rest of the commanders brought down their force on the one who defeated him. It's not directly said it was Mad Monkey Aruz, but it is heavily implied, implied that Big Mom challenged Aruz. That Big Mom killed Aruz. Maybe I misinterpreted the scene. And when they talk about how she annihilated the people that took out Commander Snack, I mean, the, we know a Rude took out one of Big Mom's commander. And we knew there used to be four, and now there's three. Who else could there have been but Commander Snack? That must have been the person Rude took down, and then Big Mom must have taken him out. Now, instead they're annihilated like they're gone. I don't know. I don't think Oda would kill one of the supernova off screen like that. But then again, the kid got beat into near death and put in a, and pretty much enslaved and put in a cage off screen by Kaido. And he prob and honestly he's he probably bleeding to death right now but we saw they didn't even treat his wound. They threw him in a cell after he had the crap beat out of him. So yeah. If I have to rate this chapter, I'd give it a ten out of ten. It was a great chapter. It was one of those chapters where my first couple of pages were kind of padding, but they still felt good. They were still good. They were still funny. And then everything else was just gold. The rest of the chapter was gold. I am very curious to what your guys' thoughts are on Big Mom's powers, on the revelation that she can control the weather. And tell, also, tell me what you guys are expecting next week from Sanji versus Luffy, or Luffy versus Sanji. So yeah, tell me your thoughts on all of that and the rest of the chapter in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like and subscribe for more One Piece reviews. And also, on a side note, I am getting a webcam tomorrow, so maybe the quality will be slightly will be a lot better. I'm getting a Logic Tech webcam. I'll have to do something about the lighting, but I definitely will be improving this. Because I don't like this, it's not good quality, and I don't want you guys to have good visual and audio quality. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, have a great day. The One Piece Nation, signing out.